In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can start your very own Shopify dropshipping store for free. If this is a video that you guys want to see, make sure you watch the video until the very end. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Before we get started with the video, make sure you check the links down below. There's actually going to be a link where you guys can book a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with me and my team. And there's also a link for you guys to join uh, our free Telegram group chat. So if that's something you want to join, I mean, it's free and you might as well take the free consulting call as well. Click the links down below and I'll see you guys there. But with awesome, yeah. But without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. This is just a mess. Most of the time you lie, some nights you don't reply. Oh, why? To deal with all your bullshit, girl, I try. How could you hurt me when I said for you I would die? Send a nigga to the sky. Feel like love. So, we're gonna be jumping into my computer and I'm gonna be giving you guys a full breakdown on exactly how you can go out and start your very own Shopify dropshipping business for free. So, if we um, jump into this slideshow over here and head over to the very first slide. As you can see, this is part one to a three video segment. So this one is going to be how to start a Shopify dropshipping business for free. The second one is going to be a low budget testing strategy. And the third one is for high budget testing. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is essentially what the agenda of this video is going to look like. First thing that we're going to be covering is product research. What products are you going to be selling? How you can actually find winning products. Second part, website creation, what your funnel is going to look like, what your offers are going to look like, and how you're going to create something that can actually convert at its highest potential. Third section, marketing plan. Now this is free, so you guys obviously aren't spending money on advertising. How are you going to be acquiring customers? How are you going to be generating traffic and bringing people to your website? Now, I know I did say this is free, which it is, and it can be. There is one cost involved in here that I highly recommend you pay for. If you don't, it's at your discretion and at that point, it will make this free. That is your domain. Reason I highly recommend this is because it really helps out with branding purposes. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But then again, I highly recommend it. But we'll go ahead and get started with the first section. This is going to be product research. Um, and in terms of product research, a lot of people tend to overthink this process, right? Now, now the reason people overthink this process is because they don't know the different types of products that they can actually go out and sell. So I broke this down in four different sections problem solving, wow factor, seasonal and evergreen. Um, everything on the top section, so problem solving and wow factor, have to be paired up with one of these things in the lower section, so seasonal and evergreen, right? Now, although you can have a problem solving product with a wow factor and it is an evergreen product, um, it's, I guess you could say it's something that's a little bit more rare. So this is literally the formula that's been able to generate me, um, you know, six and seven figures with Shopify dropshipping, right? So. If you look at problem solving, this is something that has mass appeal that a lot of people can relate to and it really solves a problem, right? Um, anything within the beauty niche or the health industry tend to work out very well in terms of Shopify dropshipping uh, as a problem solving product. Now, uh, there's also products such as Wow Factor products. So this is something that you guys will kind of understand because everybody knows about the fidget spinners. So this is something that was a very big Wow Factor product and it isn't necessarily an evergreen product. I would say it's something a little bit more seasonal. Um, at this point in your product research journey, you're going to have to figure out whether you're going to want to go for the long-term vision or the short-term vision, right? Which is why we have seasonal and evergreen. Seasonal products are things that only tend to sell at certain times of the year, such as Christmas, winter, summer, um, you know, Easter, Valentine's Day, whatever it may be. Um, while evergreen products are things that sell all year round, right? So if you're going to be selling a seasonal product, um, I highly recommend that you guys also add complimentary products on your website if you do want to make this a business that is sustainable for the long term. But problem solving products and evergreen products, pair those together and that's essentially your formula for a long term brand and something that can be sold over the course of a year, two years, three years and you know exited for multiple six figures as where a wow factor product um, is typically something that is a little bit lower ticket you know within the 20 to 30 dollar range although there is high ticket wow factor products but uh, nonetheless wow factor products tend to only sell for a short period of time so typically pairing up wow factor with something that is seasonal um, such as Christmas um, so honestly that's like the formula to six figures um, for, for Q4 if you find a wow factor product um, that sells well over the Christmas season you'll more than likely do very well, but over a shorter period of time, right? So you really have to figure out, are you looking for long-term growth or are you looking to scale, you know, very fast right out the gate? 
Moving forward into website creation, this is a process that also a lot of people overthink. So you definitely have to look at your competitors, right? What are other brands selling the same product, if not similar products, doing well? What do they have in their offer that's making this so that it's a brand that's sustainable for them, right? So really do market research, really figure out what other brands are doing well and what you can improve on coming into this market selling the same product, if not entering the same niche as them, right? Now, Shopify has a ton of free themes. There's actually a video that I posted somewhere on my channel. I think it's my channel button's down here. Definitely check out my channel, find that video, and I'm gonna be giving you guys a breakdown of Shopify's new free themes. And it's honestly not too difficult to go out there and build a Shopify store. I think the main reason why a lot of people struggle with it is because there's a little bit of a learning curve between figuring out where all the buttons are, where all the sections are, and how to play around with all that stuff. But once you have it figured out, and you create a template that works for yourself, this template can be downloaded and reused on every single one of your stores. Um, and it should only take 30 minutes to maybe an hour at that point to build out these websites. So definitely, um, you know, play around with it and really figure out how all of Shopify's functions work. But once you have that done, uh, it should be relatively easy moving forward uh, in terms of your website creation, your offer, and how everything's gonna look like as far as your landing page. Now, moving over into the third and final section, so market analysis and marketing. Uh, as I was saying, this is a free Shopify dropshipping strategy, which means you guys aren't gonna be spending money on ads, so how are you gonna be going out there and actually generating revenue and bringing traffic to your website, right? So there's two main ways I like to look at this. The first one is the organic growth, uh, which a lot of people know about at this point. That's where you're gonna go out, build your own TikTok, uh, build your own TikTok page, and just start posting content uh, regarding your product, right? Now, the main thing that I'm going to say with this strategy is that you guys are gonna have to build a content plan and you're gonna have to stick to it um, in order to see consistency and start generating revenue, right? Now, the second strategy, I guess you can say there's two parts of this strategy. So, this is going to be influencer promotions and you're not going to be paying these influencers up front. You're gonna be looking to find influencers that can actually do affiliate promos for you, right? So you could send them your product and they can then post it to their audience, their fans and their following, come to your website and complete a purchase in which you're gonna be giving this influencer a small portion of the earnings. The other way to look at this is to go out and DM a whole bunch of people that might appeal to your product and might see very good use for your product. And so in this case, what you're gonna be doing is giving them access to your ambassador program and giving them a discount code to your website. At that point, they're gonna go ahead and order their very own product off of your website at a discounted price that you're still going to be profiting on, right? Now, once they receive this product, they now have the opportunity to get paid to promote it by getting other people to purchase. And at this point, it's a little bit similar to that first influencer strategy, right? The only issue with this is it might be a little bit more difficult for you guys to actually find influencers that are willing to do these promotions uh, without getting paid upfront. But if they see the value in your business, they see the vision, and you're somebody that's coming to them with a serious offer, more often than not, a lot of influencers are willing to actually do these promotions and help you out, all right? So definitely take these two strategies into account. With the first one, um, in terms of organic growth, you now have the opportunity as well, uh, this is something that I didn't mention, you now have the opportunity as well to go ahead and repurpose this content and post it on YouTube Shorts, uh, which is something that's also going crazy and going very viral right now. So definitely check that stuff out and you know, let me know how it goes for you guys. Um, leave a comment down below and obviously like this video if this is a video that you found valuable. But with all of this being said, this brings us to the end of the video. So like I said at the beginning, join our free Telegram group chat to get access to a free mastermind group. And you also have a link down below that you can go ahead and book a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with my team and I and we'll help you out with anything that you're struggling with in terms of your e-commerce journey. But with that being said, this brings us to the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. How could you hurt me when I said for you I would die? Send a nigga to the sky. Feel like love's not the remedy. So all I got is these melodies. Praying that they hear